Hi, I'm Jared Littner. Uh, today we're out on a little local lake, Santa Margarita. I haven't been here in a while. Um, you know, it's been a really cold winter, but recently we've had a lot of rain and the lake's actually come up about 20 foot. Um, right now the water temp is just at 55 degrees, so the fish should be in pre-spawn. Um, you know, we're going to run down the lake, we're going to hit some major spawning areas and fish outside of them. The fish should be kind of staged up, wanting to move in and spawn, so we're going to try a variety of reaction baits, see if we can't get something going on that. If they're not really set up to do that, we're going to slow down and, and flip, maybe throw a Cinco or, or some type of bait to, to trigger those bigger females. So we're going to take off, head down the lake and see what we can do. You know, one of the reasons I chose to stop here is, is behind us is a major spawning grounds for this lake and, and uh, these fish should be staging up, sitting on these outside points. And I start off with a squad minnow uh, just because the water temp is rising and, and the fish are still kind of lethargic and sometimes you just got to trigger them to bite and the squad minnow is definitely a bait of choice this time of year for me. Um, so I'm just going to kind of work down these areas. There's a couple little secondary points here where they might be staged on. and. Uh, just going to see what kind of happens. It's important too with a, with a jerk bait of any kind to kind of play around with different retrieves. You know, sometimes they want it really quick. Sometimes a, yet a long pause is the way to go. So when you're first starting out, just kind of, you know, try real quick twitches and let it sit or, you know, keep that bait moving sometimes and just let the fish tell you how to catch them. And they'll usually give themselves up if they're on a stick bait bite like this. Another thing when you're, when you're throwing jerk baits this time of year is really experiment with colors. You know, like right here I'm throwing like a bluegill kind of pattern. Um, but, you know, this time of year especially when the water's kind of off color, like a chartreuse shad or even an American shad type color, you know, something that has a lot of flash to it, fish will be able to pick it up a lot better in the, in the more stained water. Um, you know, when it gets later on in the year in the fall and the water's clear, you know, a lot of translucent type baits work better. Um, you know, but overall, I, I find for myself, I don't know if it's a confidence thing or what, but either perch or bluegill or, or some kind of bait fish other than shad this time of year for me, I catch the bigger fish on just because they're feeding up to spawn and they want that extra meal, that extra protein to add fat for them. So it's not always a 100% guaranteed thing, but it's, you know, I feel like this time of year I can go pretty much anywhere in the country and catch fish on a on a uh, bluegill type jerk bait or crankbait. You know, a jerk bait this time of year can be deadly. Um, you know, it, it mimics a, a bait fish and, and it really triggers those fish to bite just because of the stop and go action. And like I said, you know, play around with the retrieves. You know, sometimes a long pause, sometimes a sh short pause. Um, when I'm throwing a jerk bait, you know, uh, the best rod that I found for a squad minnow type bait, one with a shorter bill, is this uh, 733 Powell, Powell Max uh, casting rod. And generally uh, I'm fishing anywhere from 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon. This here is 100% triline fluorocarbon. And the reason being is that it sinks and that you can work your bait down deeper and the fish can't see it. I paired this, the rod up with a uh, Revo Premier and you know, the, this reel right here is brand new. It's their new Premier for this year. And I mean, they, they kind of worked out the kinks of the uh, the old Premier from a couple years ago. And this is the best reel on the market in my opinion. So check back next week. We're gonna do try some flipping jigs up in some trees. There's some wood here on the steeper bank leading back into these spawning flats. So pick up my flipping stick with a jig on it, kind of toss it around these laydowns and See what happens is perfect spot for these pre-spawn fish. You know, a lot of times on these